always wanted to interview you because I've been wanted to tell you for years how you've ruined my life. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I could be on an, a late for an important meeting, something in, dastardly important, and if Notting Hill or Love Actually comes on TV or something, I have to sit and watch it in its entirety. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's except nice. for I have it on DVD already, though, but I still, I, I feel like I have to watch that movie all the way through because really? I'm just a huge fan of it. Are you secretly a woman, Chuck? No, but I've been told I'm half woman, and I don't know yes. if, what what that means exactly. <laughs> From the waist down. I, yeah, closet crier, crier <laughs> in this one. Yeah. And this character is so far over the top. Uh, it was just, I just, it, it bordered on. Well, let me ask you, how, how do you know if you're going too far over the top? Uh, well, you don't. I mean, I think the idea in this film was to go right to the edge, actually. Yeah. And. Uh, um, I mean, that's what Paul likes. He likes to go to places where you shouldn't really go and and sort of dare to be there, yeah. and it's fun. People are always kissing up to Martin uh, and, uh, in the film. Yeah. Now, as a celebrity, though, do you find that there are more kiss-ups than there are not kiss-ups? Yes. Really? Yes. How do you feel about when people do that? I love it. Really? Love it. Yeah, the more the, the, more, the merrier. <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I don't know if I'd get bored of it. You don't know if people are real or fake or something, you know, I guess being in the public eye. Yeah, it doesn't really bother me. So long as they're really nice to me, excessively nice, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> uh, now, were you familiar with Simon from Pop Idol? He did that in England first, didn't he? Or? Correct, yes. Uh, I hadn't really seen very much of it, but I, was, I knew what it was. And uh, I thought it was a clever stunt to pull off. Brutal honesty. Very good, very good television. And, uh, and also, what a fascinating place to end up in once you've got that reputation for being this monster who everyone hates yeah. or loves to hate. Um, what a fascinating place to be in in your life because you can sort of do anything. You carry this charisma or this danger around with you. No, but I think everybody's a critic in everything they do. You either like movies or... I mean, are you a fan of pop music at all? Or? No, I'm pathetic on music. I, I literally have no music in my life. <laughs> no, or in my soul. Nothing? You, there's nothing you throw on in the, you know, in the... Very little, actually. Very little. I listen to um, books on, on CD when I'm in my car. Uh, uh, music tends to make me sad. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I, I couldn't live without music. No, so. I know. And I, I appreciate that. And uh, so, I, you know, ridiculous for me to play this part. And even more ridiculous, I'm playing one now where I am actually a pop star. Oh, you're kidding? Yeah. Yeah. Now, in the car, uh, in the movie, Simon drives a fast car. Do you have a fast car, or are you kind of a low-key type of a guy? I'm afraid I do have a fast car, yeah. I've had a succession of fast cars. Um, I look like a complete twat in them. Uh, I look like a middle-aged man with too much money, but I, I can't stop <laughs> getting them. Really? Yeah, I had an Aston that kept breaking down in the middle of the road, and everyone would laugh at me. And, so you'd be um, standing on the side of the road and people would, you know... Yeah, well the problem is they have these gears and, and when they seize up, you can't even push it to the side of the road. So you're literally in there in the middle of a busy road in London with people going past saying, you know, laughing at you and uh, enjoying the fact that your expensive car is broken. Every time I pick up a magazine with a, an article about you, you're always talking about like how bored you are or as an actor or tired you are. Mm. Do you get tired of seeing that or is it, is it yes, true? Yes, I, I should never have said any of that. Really? Yeah, I'd like to delete all that. <laughs> well, I didn't know because you never can believe anything you read anyhow. Just no, quite. Um, but I have said that. Well, I do look like a fool because I keep coming back like a bad penny. Well, I'm glad because I'm there every single time. No, well, you're not. Thank you so much. Thank